wake up and throw on the New Year's sweats, and in this case jacket, because it's cold, and go take in potty. I'll still have awake. All right, let's go. Wait, get it? Good morning. I get so awake from taking him potty in the morning. <laughs> like I used to roll out of bed and like, you know, half asleep, like just roll down the stairs, open the door, I'll let him go and like throw food in his bowl. And I can go back to bed if I wanted after that. But like now I have to get up. I gotta put clothes on. I gotta put his collar and leash and stuff on. I bring food with me so he's tame in the elevator. <laughs> Cause sometimes you just don't know. And then we get down there, there's like lights, there's music, you know, like lobby music, right? We go out, we get the fresh air, we let him go potty. By the time I'm back up here, I'm like, wow, I'm awake, like, let's start the day. I mean, on weekends and stuff, maybe I'll go back to bed, but like, I was in bed before 10 o'clock last night, which is a new one, like, I never do that, and I, I like it, I'm gonna try to keep doing it. So I was asleep probably before 11, and he didn't get me up till seven, so like, I have no, no reason to go back to bed, but it gets me so awake right away in the morning. Do some supplements. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, January 18th. 17th. 17th. Cannot believe it's January 17th though. Oh my goodness. So I've been here about two weeks. I don't have too much routine going on. Right now, like I do think it's taken me a while to kind of get in the swing of things. However, I have been really good about like doing some things that like make me feel good, you know? For example, my sleep has been good. Like I wake up, I take Dunkin' out, I do supplements, I do greens, you know, like that stuff's all normal. And what I've always done, I'm gonna try to take you to the gym with me today, which will be an experience. I'm only doing cardio though, so it'll be pretty easy to kind of just film a little bit in there. I lifted the past two days, so I'm doing cardio today and then more weights tomorrow. My apartment gym is actually pretty great. Like there's a lot of stuff, at least in my opinion, for an apartment gym. But things are definitely coming together, you know, like moving and having to furnish a whole place. Of course, it takes forever. And then the beginning, I'm like spending so much money. So I'm like, oh my gosh. And then deliveries. And then I don't know. So we have a good amount of stuff here. It's not completely done. But to be honest, my apartment's not going to be like done, done to the point where like I feel like it's done for months because like the last thing I'm worried about is decorations, you know? And because at my last house, like I didn't have too many decorations. None of the furniture pieces were mine. Like I've had to buy so much. So obviously moving is expensive in general, but this is my first place I'm like furnishing so I'm dropping a lot of money But also it's just this stuff just takes a while, you know, it, it, it does it just takes a while, which is totally fine Like I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like we're about two weeks in and I feel good I really like where we ended up like just walking around looking at other places I toured when I visited last year other places I considered like I'm so happy I ended up where I did but I still just feel so behind on things you know like I'm trying to like get back on like my video schedule and I don't know let me know what you want to see from me I've kind of been holding off filming this video which is you know we're just gonna be like getting back in routine I'm gonna show you a little bit of like my life here so far but like I never wanted to title it like something but an Austin vlog or like home settling because I just didn't think people cared but then I got comments that are like Morgan like where's the first vlog of you there and I'm like oh wait you want that <laughs> let's make coffee guess what we're doing protein coffee of course I have decided I'm out with the oat milk. I'm still in a little milk dilemma. I don't know what I want to stick with. Not that I have to stick with one, right? Like I could change it every week for all that it really matters, but I'm done with the oat milk. I kind of want to try coconut milk. I haven't tried that. And it seems like that's like a really good, like healthy version of milk. I'm not a huge like almond milk person. I just don't want it to taste too nutty, which I feel like people don't buy almond milk because it tastes nutty. But I just, I don't know. I've never really been a solid almond milk drinker. This is regular cow's milk. Like I've been drinking dairy milk since we got here. It's from Whole Foods. <laughs> that's why it looks like this. And... Trust me, I don't shop at Whole Foods. I wish I could be the bitch that just like regularly shops at Whole Foods, but I just had to run there quick because we were out of milk and we have a grocery pickup today. I'm excited to do like a little grocery haul and like make food together and stuff. In the meantime, I just needed to run and pick up milk and Whole Foods was the answer. And it's cold here, so we are doing a hot protein latte. One scoop of protein, one scoop collagen. I've actually also been really consistent with my collagen and I've been really happy about that. 
I'm also not lactose intolerant, right? Like I eat dairy. It's not something I cut from my diet. I just originally cut out dairy milk for coffee to have less dairy for other reasons like my skin. My skin has actually been so bad lately. But I've also been picking really bad, so I don't even know if it's that I've been having cow's milk with my coffee every day because I know that I've been physically acting bad, so like I can't even like isolate that and narrow it down. However, I've been having whole milk and it's way too dense for me in the morning. Like I get like way too full to the point where like I don't want to eat for like a long time during the day. So that was just two percent. And I think if I keep up with the cow's milk, I might even go skim. Cow's milk does have you know protein, fat, carbs. Like it has good things in there for you, but it's just like too much for me i don't know i actually drink skim growing up i don't know i don't know this whole milk dilemma i don't know man i was never a huge make your bed person simply because i wake up first and i can't do it first thing when i wake up because the bed is still in use <laughs> but i have a desk where i'm sitting right now in the bedroom and if my bed is right behind me like it might as well look decent it's not like i'm gonna like tuck in the sheets and everything but it's nice if i just like you know kind of put it together so i am now kind of a make your bed person <laughs> crazy how things can change the room is coming along i don't have like barely anything hung but i have my cute little desk i got a new office chair which office chairs are just stupidly expensive but honestly i do really love it it's huge and then i have my little setup here i have one thing hanging that's like about it <laughs> Just some of the girly pops, you know? We should get a little ready for the day. I feel like I have so much to talk about, so much to catch you up on. Like, so many, so just, I don't know, just like, what's what's been going on, right? So I've been listening nonstop to the Pursuit of Wellness podcast. I mentioned, I think, in a few other videos, it's by Mari Llewellyn, who is the creator of Bloom. I haven't had Bloom greens in a while, but if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love Bloom. I've tried a couple of the different products from them. Anyways, I've been listening to this podcast nonstop, and I feel like I'm so inspired to not only continue working on you know what I'm eating like working out regularly like drinking water that stuff but I also am in such an area of like I want to have good products in my new environment and stuff like that so I recently went through a few skincare products and I ditched some of the ones that have pore clogging ingredients because that can lead to acne and my skin has just not been doing well I don't know I, I feel like it was doing well like a year or two ago and like this past while i just it's just not not but okay this is literally just water i'm not washing my face because i'm gonna do cardio in a little bit so like i'm not gonna wash my face and then sweat and then wash it again i'm just gonna put on a little sunscreen for when i take duncan out next and stuff i think this technically has like some moisturizer in it i don't know but i've just been so inspired to like clean out my life and just like refocus and like just make sure I'm doing good in my environment and my body. Like just, I don't know, all areas. I love that podcast so much. I'm going to put on this brown set. It's from Amazon. Cute little brown set. Oh, the back is fun. The back is fun. Like I said, it's Amazon. So I will link it if you're curious. So like I said, I've been here two weeks officially. Like I moved in on a Wednesday and it's a Wednesday. So I've been here officially two weeks. I didn't go to the gym the first week at all simply because I was honestly too nervous. And I just started going this week. So the gym is split up into two. There's the cardio lounge, which I'm going to take you to today. And then there's also the like weightlifting gym. It has a few machines. It has, of course, like dumbbells. It does have a squat rack and stuff. So it has a good amount of stuff, which is super nice. It's funny though. Like the first time I went, I literally had to mentally prepare. Like, so you can see both gyms from like windows and stuff. So I can always go and check out if they're busy before I go in, which is honestly like really great. <laughs> the cardio lounge is obviously like way less intimidating because you literally just walk in and I like hop on the treadmill versus the weights and stuff. I'm like lifting, you know, like in using machines and like using equipment like in front of people. But I do think the more I do it, the more I'm getting confident and better at it. I had a really great lower body day really great upper body day so i'm trying to ease into maybe filming some workouts and stuff it's gonna take me a little bit to bring the camera in bring you guys in so my apologies but it is scary it's new right but i am in just such a like mindset and era where i'm like 
head down focus like all I want to do is like get in really good workouts make good meals like I'm in such a I don't know if it's just the new year or the move but I'm like in such a like focus not an all or nothing thing because you know I always talk about how like that's not good right like we literally ordered Raisin Cane's the other day you know like I'm not I'm not like balls to the wall or like zero <laughs> you know but I am in such a like I'm, I'm just like such a in such a motivated state which is great for when I'm trying to build a routine and stuff you know and like I don't know I'm just like very focused right now and just like Motivated, inspired, ready. I have a lot of drive in me. I also just got a package. <laughs> I wish you could have seen me jumping to get that package this time. So I was talking about the Pursuit of Wellness podcast earlier, right? They just launched hats and I am a huge hat girl, like baseball cap hat. And so I definitely purchased it. I literally like, subscribe to their email list so I could get early notifications and I like bought it right away. It says in my healing era. It's embroidered too so it's not something that'll like wash away like it'll last a long time which I really like. It's so cute. Oh I think it's adorable. Anyways what I wanted to say so I've been getting familiar with the gym right. I actually took pictures of some of the equipment so that I could go home and kind of like look it up a little bit which is such a tip. If you're going to the gym for the first time or like a new gym or whatever take pictures of the equipment and then go home and like look up the brand look up a demonstration video like why not you know who cares but so I'm gonna start a program next week I've decided so I have a full week of just kind of doing what I know getting a little bit comfortable and then I'm pretty much decided I'm gonna purchase a subscription to the alive app I love gains by brains and she just came out with an app I've talked about it in another video but with hers it seems like you're required to have a little bit more equipment than I do have and I know the alive app gives you in-app substitutions if you don't have certain equipment and stuff like that so I think it's a really good fit my friend Trinae actually who's on YouTube as well she posts about it she like loves it whatever so I talked to her about it and I'm like yeah I definitely trust your recommendations we're gonna do that I always take the stairs down to my workout to kind of like warm me up and then depending on what floor I'm coming from I might take them back up after my workout as a little finisher challenge We have an empty gym. I repeat, nobody's in here, which is crazy and so nice. So we're gonna get our 12 3 30 on, of course. Amazing. I made the mistake of washing my hair last night. I should have, there goes an AirPod. I should have waited till today because I'm gonna sweat. So we wear this and I brought a sweat towel. Me turning around knowing someone could walk in on me like literally talking to myself. It's good. So I tried to upload the incline because I just felt like it wasn't high enough and this treadmill is like shaking and then it went back to zero so I'm gonna switch. I've only been on here for almost seven minutes but whatever, that's seven extra minutes today. Let's try again. Back up the stairs we go. A solid finisher. I just showered, I am so hungry. It is really nice that my coffee is very filling every morning, but like I need to eat real food. So what we're having today, I've been having this like every day for the past week. So I love to make these little bagels. They're just with Greek yogurt and self-raising flour. I actually have a silicone mold that makes them turn out so much better. I used to just use parchment paper, but I swear this turns out so good. Although I only have the mini size, I wanna get a big size. So I think I'm gonna actually look that up today, but I just seasoned them with the everything bagel seasoning and don't they look perfect? Like they're so cute. And then I cut them all in half. And sometimes if they're a little underdone, when you retoast them, they like finish up and become perfect. I don't put them in the toaster just because so many they could get lost. I like to heat them up in the air fryer. However, we just cleaned out the air fryer because the last time I put these in, I set the fire alarm off two different times. So hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll see. And I love a good like cream cheese moment. However, I've been doing bagel sandwiches. So I will take an egg, crack it and whisk it. And I also have these silicone molds that are for muffin tins. What I found out to be so perfect for these mini bagel sandwiches is if I split the egg into two of these and I'll throw it in the oven for a few minutes. 
I know this is like super extra and like annoying in a whole production, but all of these things you could prepare ahead of time. Like I could batch make a bunch of these eggs and have them in the fridge to just heat up. But then I'll also take, I have these little turkey sausages and I just throw this in the microwave and heat it up. And now we assemble it like a little breakfast sandwich. Isn't that the most perfect? Like it's the cutest little egg thing. And then I just go like that and we'll put some arugula on top. And we have two little homemade mini breakfast sandwiches. Aren't they so cute? It is time to make some coffee and go sit at my desk for a while. Do you know what this is from? Please tell me you know. I have the matching. Lately, if I want a second cup of coffee, I actually bought decaf Nespresso pods and I'll do one shot of regular and one shot of decaf. So it's kind of like a half calf situation if I want like that size, you know, a double shot size, but it's like technically half calf. But today we're going to do a regular iced coffee, which is a double shot. So like this is a double shot meant for iced coffee. I have my little sign. Do you remember this at the lake house? I have my little sign hanging. I thought this was a cute area. And then I also have this jar too. I have been decently good about not having a crazy amount of caffeine in a day, but today I just want it. So today we're gonna have it. This flavor is actually so good. I swear it tastes like the Funfetti pink frosting. Okay, so I had a lot of thoughts going through my head while I was at the gym today, and I wanted to talk to you about them. But when I got home, I was like, I need shower, I need to eat, I'm so hungry, now we have the time. Let's chat a little bit. So like I said, I'm getting more comfortable at the gym, which is amazing. I'm gonna start a plan next week, so I'm very excited about that. And I'm excited to just like stick to something, follow something that someone else made, put thought and time into that I'm paying for, and like, I will be like working out certain muscle groups, and like just, I don't know, just something that has thought, whereas it's not me just like messing around, maybe doing the same thing too much or something like that. Like something that's geared more towards results. So I'm very excited about that. I did a great job of keeping up with my workouts throughout December. And if you watched a lot of my vlogmas, you would have seen and known. But then I didn't really work out between Christmas and New Year's. We were packing, getting ready to move, whatever. We had a New Year's party. And then the first week of January too, like I just didn't work out. We walked to Duncan a lot, which is always good. Always like feels good on the mental, such a mood booster too and stuff, but I wasn't putting pressure on it because I'm like, I want to take my time, I want to move in, I don't want to like force a workout, but it's almost like counterproductive because working out does make me feel good. So I was like not working out to ease myself into things, but then again, it's like, okay, but the, if I were to work out, it probably would have made me feel better, whatever. I do feel like things have been going pretty smooth since we got here though. Like I've been feeling pretty good. I like the place. I don't know, we're getting used to things. We did a lot of exploring when we first got here and then as like furniture started coming in and things like that, we were more focused on putting the apartment together and whatnot. So we haven't done anything too crazy these past few days or a week. And I'm just like taking it slow, not putting pressure on anything, whatever. But now that we actually have like a bed frame, I have my desk set up, we have a TV stand, like we're not sitting on the floor anymore, we have a couch. Now I'm like, okay, Morgan, like you gotta get it together a little bit, you know? So that's why I'm really happy, I've been comfortable. When I tell you the first time I went to the gym, like where the weights are that you haven't seen yet, it wasn't in this video, I literally stood outside of the elevator by myself, like mentally preparing, like, okay, you can do it, you can do it. Like, it, it's just like the doors feel like such an entrance because they're these like big doors, just how the gym is set up. And like when you open them, it's very noticeable. And I was just like, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous to walk in, you know? I knew when I got there, I made a plan beforehand. I was just gonna do a dumbbell, like lower body workout. It was gonna be fine. I knew when I got there, I'd be okay. Like I wore a hat, it helps you just like feel a little, you know, like blinders on, you know, like a little bit disguised, a little bit like not paying attention to people. There were a few other people in the gym, but I just, I don't know, I just like got there, I put my stuff down, I was like, you know what, I deserve to be here, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, like, it's fine. Nobody's looking at me. But what is nice is when you go to the gym, like, everyone there has the same goal, right? Like, they're trying to get better. Of course, goals on a more specific level will vary, but it's like everyone there is just trying to work on themselves. So if you're trying, like, good for you, you know? So I try to remind myself that, although it is difficult, it is hard. Even though this is just an apartment gym, like I said, it, it has a good amount of stuff in it, like, it's a big building, there could be a lot of people, maybe Maybe it is less intimidating than like an actual gym because an actual gym is like way bigger and stuff. However, going from working out by myself at home to this, it is it is a transition, it is a change, and it's been going well. I'm gonna attempt to film a workout tomorrow morning and actually go in the morning. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. 
but since I'm just getting back into working out, my workouts have been feeling good. Like I felt so good on the treadmills today. I was walking at the 15 incline. These treadmills are so amazing compared to what I had at home. I had like a small one at home. It's literally total piece of shit. Okay, that's why I would never link it or recommend it because it it just it had problems. Like it would turn off. It would like do this, do that, whatever. I didn't like it. And so once I started using the treadmills here, they're so much smoother. They felt like easier like my workouts felt easier maybe just because i was happier it felt nicer i don't know but my workouts have been feeling great and i've been trying not to be too harsh and judgmental on myself for like how i look right now because i'm like okay this is a big life change like you, you gotta go easier on yourself lots of things are moving around you haven't been in routine whatever and i don't feel bad like when i look in the mirror i'm not like oh my gosh like, i'm not beating myself up i know that i have a lot of work to do and i'm excited to put in the work like i feel like i truly am enjoying the process however i feel very like skinny fat like you know that term like I don't feel big, but I just feel like I really want to tighten up. Like I want to like lean out. You know, I just feel very skinny fat right now. And I'm excited to hopefully get some like real results. You know, I'm excited to do a grocery haul later. We got, I don't know, a good amount of things. But also it's crazy like starting with no food in your house. Like we're really building things up. I did bring spices with me, but I didn't even have a huge spice collection. But even just like had to buy new olive oil and just like random little things you cook with that you don't always think about so slowly building groceries back up and i'm just really like excited to be in the groove of things again and like i said i do really like it here so far like i'm very happy with where we ended up and just very happy we signed here as opposed to other places keep in mind january 3rd when i got the keys it was my first time seeing this exact unit i didn't see this unit before i moved in which was also kind of crazy but I, I don't know, maybe it was just meant to be. So I'm feeling very good, very happy. I'm not beating myself up, but I do know I have a lot of work to do. And I'm just feeling good and excited. And of course, you're not always gonna be excited and motivated, whatever. I am like in a very big like wave of motivation right now. And I know I'm not always gonna be, but also, oh my gosh, something else crazy. I know I'm going on so long, but this is just kind of updates and I don't know, I think people wanna know. <laughs> um, I really have been liking having a gym environment. Like the first few times I went in there, I'm like, wow, like I kinda like this better than being at home. It is nice at home, you have like privacy, whatever, but like stepping in to that environment, I just feel like a switch flips a little bit more versus staying at home. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna really like having access to a gym. Like I think I'm gonna like it more than I am afraid of it, if that makes sense. Which is good, obviously. I mean, that's that's the goal, right? The sun is out. It's so nice. My hat just feels so right. I love it. It was only like 20 degrees out this morning, but I swear whatever the degrees is, it feels like 10 warmer compared to what it would feel like in Wisconsin. I swear, like if it's 40, it feels like 50, at least to me, obviously. Highly recommend these little zucchini crisps. I made them earlier this week and I'm gonna heat up the rest for a little snack in the air fryer. They're so good. It's just nice too, because if I have stuff like this prepped, I will eat it. <laughs> so it's always nice to have at least something ready to go. That crunch, these are so good. I need to make them more. But we made it. Let's do a grocery haul. We just did a Walmart pickup. We've gone to HEV once so far. I don't know if it was the location, the time of day, or they're just always like that, but it was so, so, so insanely busy. So we just did a Walmart pickup. I would like to do produce and more fresh food in person, but we just did Walmart today. So I got shrimp. I actually want to make a fun salad. I really wanted to make it today, but we did the grocery pickup later in the day because I didn't want to go by myself. I know that sounds so stupid, but like I... I'm still gonna use the driving around here. It's a bit different and I just didn't want to be alone. A red bell pepper. Brussels sprouts. I've been playing around a little bit with tracking my food just to kind of see where I'm at. I feel like it's good to use as a tool but not a lifestyle, at least in my opinion. And I feel like I just never get enough fiber in. So I'm trying to eat more and more veggies. It's a big goal of mine. Duncan's toy. Yep, cool. 
romaine, spinach, celery. Why are there bananas in the bag? Set them free. Bananas, avocado, cucumber, lemons, milk. This is skim. I'm gonna try out skim and see how I like it in my coffee. Orzo, tortillas, sun dried tomatoes, basil leaves, parmesan cheese, dates, chicken broth, red onion. That's about it. I got this fruit bowl. It obviously things look like a mess right now, but I got this fruit bowl because it matches a lot of black kitchen appliances and things we have. I'm going to organize it and stuff, but I love having a cute fruit bowl. It just makes everything look better. And the fresh flowers. The counter's cute once it's clean. For dinner, I'm making a recipe I found off TikTok. Let's do it. It doesn't call for chicken, but I want to add chicken to it. So I just put garlic powder and Italian seasoning on it and I'm going to throw it in the oven to cook it. And then it's just a one pan type dish and this is what I'm gonna have, so this is what I'm gonna use. First, boars and cheese. I've never cooked with this before, but I'm so excited. Mmm. Orzo. Sun dried tomatoes. Garlic. Some basil leaves. Oregano. Salt and pepper. We'll add the rest of the oil from the sundered tomato jar. And the entire thing of chicken broth. And we'll just throw this in the oven for only like 10 minutes. The chicken's done. The comments are all saying this recipe takes way longer than the video says. The video says it only takes like 10 minutes, but everyone else is saying the orzo did not get done. And I don't think my orzo's done, so I'm gonna have to figure out how long it's actually gonna take. There's also so much broth that didn't get absorbed yet. The orzo is about done. Now we add in spinach and shredded cheese. And we throw it back in for about two minutes to let the spinach melt and the cheese melt. Melt and melt. I mean, it looks pretty good. It smells so good. I almost forgot the chicken. Oh, we'll have a lot of leftovers. Easy to make, however, it definitely takes a lot longer than 10 minutes in the oven. And maybe I should have used cheese that wasn't mozzarella. She used a white cheddar, but that's just not like easily findable, I feel like. Pretty good. Ooh, when you get a bite with the sun-dried tomatoes, those are, those are very good. Definitely need the chicken. I feel like the more I kept eating it, the more I enjoyed it. Very good recipe. I will link the TikTok video. However, you have to bake it for at least 20 minutes, not 10 like she says. After dinner, we took Duncan out and then took him to the park. We were able to get him running around a little bit, but then there was also another dog that came, so they got to play together, which is nice. I love when we get to meet, well, when he gets to, and I guess us too, meet other dogs. He played with a dog named Casey. They ran around. It was great. Got some energy out of him too. And then I've just been chilling for the past little bit. It's already 9.30, so I'm getting ready for bed. I've been trying to get to bed earlier. I've been pretty good so far. I've actually been really good about taking magnesium before bed as well. I've been using way less products on my face. Sometimes less is more, you know? Earlier when I said I got rid of a couple products, you can just Google like pore clogger ingredients checker, something like that. Just like, just search that. There was a couple different sites and then you copy and paste the ingredients of a product you're checking. You go on like their site, find the product, copy and paste the ingredients, which they should be on their website, put it into the checker or whatever and it should tell you what the ingredient is and if it's a pore clogging ingredient because pore clogging ingredients can lead to acne again can i don't know like what necessarily my skin issue is and what the root of it is but i'm starting somewhere maybe i'll get rid of the dairy eventually i don't know and my stomach can handle it i'm like i hope it's not my face that i can't handle it i, I don't know one thing however that's super duper sad is that first aid beauty ultra repair cream has one ingredient in it that apparently is a pore clogger and it's my favorite moisturizer ever. I also have dry skin, so I'm debating with myself right now whether I get over the one ingredient. I should probably do more research on what the ingredient is and how serious it is, or if I move on to a new moisturizer, I don't know. I just love Percy Beauty as a brand too. This is just a smaller travel size moisturizer and it's almost out, so like I'm gonna use the whole thing. I'm just so sick of being 25 and having acne like i don't know i just it's frustrating 
A lot of it is self-induced though. Like I'm just such a bad picker. I need to stop that. So we got this bed frame because it has storage at the top. So it's nice. I can put my water bottle here, but also we have this projector and then the blank wall. So it's fun to like watch TV and bed and stuff. However, I'm trying not to do that on the weekdays. And I have my phone charger right here. However, my goal is to plug my phone in before I get into bed and like it's done for the night. You know, like my phone is like sitting here. So it's done for the night. I'm about to get in the covers under the blankets and I'm not gonna touch it. 